There are several ways to experience Ubuntu that help to go through the transition from another operating system over to Linux. The easiest one is to run Ubuntu from a DVD or USB drive. This won't change anything on your computer and will give you the chance to see it in action. The second easiest method is to run Ubuntu inside your current operating system, as if it were just another application. To do this, you will have to install VirtualBox and create a virtual machine. We have a tutorial about virtual machines for Ubuntu that might also help even if you're using another operating system. The third option is to install Ubuntu on your computer alongside your current operating system and choose between the two on startup. Finally, the best way to experience Ubuntu is to have it as the only operating system on your computer and take full advantage of your machine memory and hard disk space. Whatever method you choose, you will follow roughly the same procedure of downloading and installing it. Check out the link on this video for more details of the migration process as documented by the contributors of the Ubuntu help. Downloading and installing Ubuntu is very easy, although it might take a couple of hours altogether if you have a fast internet connection and a reasonably recent computer. To download Ubuntu, go to the website ubuntu.com, click on download in the menu at the top, and then choose desktop. On the right, you can choose the flavor 32 or 64 bits, then hit start download. If you have a doubt about which flavor to choose, go for the 32-bit flavor. If you have a reasonably recent computer that is 64-bit compatible and you have at least 4 gigabytes of RAM, go for the 64-bit flavor to take advantage of improved performance. The trend is to move to 64-bit software, so choose this if your computer hardware supports it. Note that under the download button, you can also order the official CDs for almost as cheap as a blank CD. The file is about 750 megabytes, so it will take a while to download. You can use this time to read the instructions on the link that is on this same frame. This page has all you need to know to download, burn and install the software. On the right, you can see the guides to create the bootable medium depending on the operating system you have currently available. In step 1, you will choose to use a CD, DVD or USB drive to install your system. Note the link to the booting guide in case nothing happens when you boot your computer from your CD or USB. Then proceed to step 2 where you will see Ubuntu running. At this point, you can choose to either try it out or install it on your machine. If you decide to install it, keep following the instructions of this page. The instructions are very clear and the screenshots are very helpful to know exactly where you are. All this should be pretty easy and straightforward. To take full advantage of your operating system, the ideal thing is to have a computer that is in the list of certified hardware for Ubuntu, but nothing prevents you from installing it in any computer you want. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the certified hardware to take a look at it. Most hardware is supported on Linux, but some less common hardware might not have full support. You'll certainly notice if you have a hardware incompatibility when you try out Ubuntu from the DVD or USB drive directly on the computer where you want to install it. If you feel like it's not the right time for you to migrate yet, you can install Ubuntu in your current operating system and start getting used to it little by little. This approach is good for you to learn gradually and avoid getting upset by the new environment. Alternatively, you can do it the other way around and install your current operating system inside Ubuntu, in case you need to have the possibility to have a quick access to your current operating system. We will see during the tutorial how to install an operating system inside Ubuntu using a virtual machine. In both cases, you will still have access to any environment you want independently of your primary choice. Once you've finished the installation, click on one of the overview videos to take a tour of the desktop and get to know it a little bit better.